Okay, so I've got another little glider, and the latest ones are different colours. I've got the red and the white one here, and I want to make something different rather than just a cap glider or power glider. Uh, I want to try and make something a little bit different out of this one. But the first job, we need to get this uh, cockpit off, and we need to get the uh, metal weight out of there, which is a bolt, and uh, this is hot glued in, and it's quite tight on. Now some of them well, I've got more hot glue than others. What you want to try and crack it open so you can get a gap like that. Okay, again, try there, get a gap. Once you can get a gap, you can usually get a ruler or a knife between there. If you can get a ruler, try and force it in as much as you can and just tease it so that you can crack the glue free. Okay, well. And then try again on the other side and uh, crack that free and try and get your blade or your metal ruler or something to act as a wedge to, to free it go careful with it and if you're lucky you'll get it off okay so some of them have got a lot more hot glue than others and you may have no alternative other than to use a knife and slice right the way through okay uh, when you do get it off like that, okay. Hopefully you've preserved that part and that part. We're not worried about the little part in there because we'll cut that out, okay. Take the bolt out. We don't need that weight anymore. Uh, and then we can work on cutting this part out, and that we can reuse to put back on again, okay. So, time to move on. Okay, moving on to the next stage. Now that we've uh, removed the cockpit, I've decided on my build, I'm going to remove the rear tail and the boom. Because I find it quite flexible and I'm going to have to remove it for my build. I'm taking it off. So I'm going to use a knife and slice it. I may go further back, I may not. Let's go for it. Trying to keep that straight. I'm thinking about there. I've left plenty on there in case I've made a, a, a mistake. Okay, there's the back end off. I've not done bad there. That looks 90 degrees to me. 90 degrees to me. I've obviously got more on. I can take it back if I needed to. Got that part. Not sure what I'm going to do, might put it on there. Not much of it left, is there? <laughs> I'm quite happy with that cut. Nice and clean. Okay, so on the trailing edge, I've put two marks as to where the fuselage comes to when it's inserted. And I'm going to put some trailing edge on the back for my control surfaces. Now obviously there is a bend in the wing like that, but what I'm going to do, or I've decided to do, is use a straight edge and cut that off. Okay, so I'm going to use a fresh blade. Where my mark is there, to the edge there, and just slice that off. So I've got a nice straight edge. My trailing edge to go into. Oh, here I go. Won't be needing that. There we go. No, not quite straight there. Let's. Uh, Put that back on again. Back to the edge, back to the edge. Try again. There we go. Just run it straight just to make sure we've got it. Yep, there we go. That's much better. So now, 
can put a trailing edge on there. Full width. No, obviously I'm going to have to cut a piece off there and probably a piece off the inside there. And then sand it because it goes tapered there. But that shouldn't give me an issue. And then uh, once I've got that straight, I'll probably put a carbon spar in there. So I'm going to do the other side now and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've now put the spar into the wing. And I can tell you that the, this foam is very soft and very susceptible to heat. It's uh, not very good. So now that I have put the spar in and I've cut an angle onto the trailing edge of the foam, hopefully, there you go, you can just about see that. Okay, I can put these uh, ailerons on and I'll uh, send them to shape and put them on. The fuselage I cut into sections so that I can glue the rear tail back on and a small section of the uh, boom I hollowed out so that I can slide that over the top of the tail to keep the same thickness running along it. In addition to that uh, I've put a barbecue uh, bamboo cane through the tail to add some extra support cut that off and then the remainder of the fuselage sliced into sections so that I can use that to infill all the other holes that are left on the tail and you should end up with something like this not bad for my first attempt I think it's quite smooth and it's quite stiff with that bamboo skewer in there now the trailing edge I use some clear packing tape and coloured packing tape to stick it on and the fabric duct tape over the wings ok so here's the finished glider it's just a straight wing flat wing hopefully it will come out on camera the top of the wing is totally flat the bottom of the wing due to a taper has a slight diagonal at the tips a great deal hopefully enough full length ailerons okay the tail is uh, put back on the uh, servos canopy caps this time I've managed to use uh, magnets on this one there's the uh, magnets I've used Battery. <coughs> a nice simple connection. There it is, all ready for the slope. I've uh, not test flown it yet, so I don't know if I see a CAG right. I'm going to have to take some work with me when I get out and uh, see if I need to alter the CAG when I know where the CAG point is and what the control throws are I'll let you know so keep tuned I've got three more or is it two more little gliders I'm going to convert I'm going to do slightly unconventional so keep tuned for them ones too till then goodbye